All right, all right, all right. Good morning, we're live. everyone. Let's do this. How's everyone doing today? Chris, how are you, man? I'm doing good over here. How are you doing? In Toronto, my yeah, hometown. No. I know, I know. It's so funny how we uh, we met. We didn't know we're both Canadians, so it's awesome, man. Yep. Love meeting other Canadians. Love meeting other awesome uh, software creators, especially in the automated, automated, automo, bleh. start that again. <laughs> automation space because i'm a big geek when it comes to automation everybody knows that um, i geek out and then when i saw what you're up to and i'm like wow this is a perfect compliment perfect automation tool perfect time saving tool to kind of kick off your video creation so i'm excited that you're here man i'm glad you can make it i'm excited to be here all right Thanks so i'm just gonna me. of course man my pleasure so i'm just gonna say good morning to everyone as people are popping in um my name is Handy Mora from Repurpose.io. Uh, hopefully, this is not the first time you're seeing me live. We do our live trainings at least once a month, sometimes more than once when we bring on special guests. And today is one of those days where we have Chris Mike, Chris Carmichael from Vlog um, Easy. He's got an awesome app. Uh, we're going to go into details about what it does, what it can do for you time-saving wise, but also how it fits into the whole flow of video creation and then automation with, with Repurpose. So that this helps you create content much faster. Repurpose helps you distribute content much faster. So it's a perfect, perfect tool. So uh, we've got a few people logging on. So I just want to say good morning to everybody and, or good afternoon. Or if you're watching the replay, uh, definitely say hi. Um, and by the way, just leave your comments in the questions, uh, comments slash questions live or if you're watching the replay, because um, you know we'll go in and we'll get the, your questions answered. So we're going to kick off with a bit of just some tips on video creation. A lot of you guys are watching now already create video and that's why you're here. And that's why you're interested in, uh, in this training. So we're going to talk about some few minutes, spend a few minutes talking about tips on video creation very briefly, and then jump into this awesome app. Uh, do a, Chris is going to do a demo. Um, and then we're going to do some Q and a, I got some questions. I'm sure you guys got some questions. Um, and then we'll go from there. So Chris, you, cool. you've been doing this, you've been creating this app for video creators. So, Kind of let's kick off with some advice. Like, what should we? What advice for anybody who's either just starting or just thinking about adding video to their content mix? Like, what's what are like their top three things you tell them right away? Yeah, so um, I would I would say the first one for everybody doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't even matter if you're an experienced content creator. Coming, getting over the fear of creating content itself is always the first hurdle. Um, even for me myself, I used to uh, I used to be a Snapchatter. Um, I, I made a whole uh, uh, brand around myself. I made a whole living doing that. And I would have fear all the time of, are people going to like this? Should I even post it in the first place? Like all these thoughts running through my head. Um, the key is to just do it. The key is to just post. Don't even think about it. Um, it's, it's not about, is this post good? It's about, can I post this? Can I, can I have the confidence to post this and be vulnerable enough to look at the comments and, and you know, shape my character based on you know what the what the comments are saying. Um, uh, that's that would be one of them. Uh, another one would be uh, what's a good what's a good tip? Um, be authentic. Be as vulnerable and authentic as possible in this world where everybody's fake constantly. Mm -hmm. You need to be as authentic as possible. I myself, I used to really try to be extremely authentic. As in, you know, one of my biggest fears was the fact that I would gain and lose weight uh, really quickly. And I just took my shirt off in one of my, in one of my uh, videos I made and I showed everybody, I'm not going to be afraid of this. You know, I'm showing you guys, I'm trying to be my true natural self. And, and so be as authentic as possible. It's funny because they have like training now to how to be authentic, um, you know, for social media experts. And it's like, that's completely the opposite um, of what you're, you're supposed to do. So be authentic, be vulnerable, uh, listen to your audience. Um, doesn't mean you have to become what your audience tells you, but definitely listen to the things they're saying to give you signals as to, okay, maybe I should continue doing these things. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe they don't like these types of things. Um, be, be, uh, overcome fear, be vulnerable and, um, and listen to your audience. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to add one more to that mix is be consistent. Um, don't go in waves. Like don't feel like you're in a mood to make a video, make one and then go silent for, three weeks, four weeks, right? You get the consistency of being, especially when you're posting to social, people want to see you all the time. And you may not get a lot of views in the beginning, uh, the first video you post, but if you're up there posting every single week or more than once a week or putting content out regularly, 
um, you know, A, the social platforms will love you and give you more attention, but B, your audience will get used to seeing your content. Um, so yeah, I love your You're tips. exactly right. You're exactly right about the um, being consistent. That was actually one of my biggest issues as a, as a creator myself. It's because I put so much effort into like, I was trying to put so much effort into, it. I got burnout basically. And this is a great mm -hmm. uh, segue into, uh, you know, what we're going to show everybody next, but creator burnout's a real thing, especially if you have millions and millions of followers and they expect you to be posting every single day, oh, wow. you get burnt out. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons why we built the product that we did was because it didn't matter if you're the biggest influencer in the world or you couldn't even get started in the first place. Like burnout, burnout is real for people who have never even posted content yet because their brain burns out before they can even, you know, pick up the recording button. So, uh, or pick up the recorder. So, uh, burnout is real and that's why we built the product we built. That's awesome. And that's true. And that's true. And that's, you almost psych yourself out before you get started before yeah. you're, you're sitting in front of a screen or in front of a mic or in front of a, a phone, you're like, what do I say? Like, what do I yeah. do? Uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely great, great tips. Awesome. All right. So we got people coming in, coming out. So I'm just going to basically um, let you take over, Chris, and just kind of do a quick intro. I kind of forgot to introduce you. you. You can tell us a little more about yourself and kind of how you got into building this awesome app called Vlog and Vlog Easy. And then, then just kind of give us a quick demo, but before you tell us about yourself a little bit, like how did you get into cool. the space? Yep, so uh, past 10 years, been doing random startups uh, with various teams. Uh, about five years ago, I got into Snapchatting. So I became one of the one of the first and highest paid Snapchatters um, back, in, back in the day. Uh, I was charging $10,000 a story for major brands like Disney, Universal, Lionsgate, Fox, uh, Taco wow. Bell, um, and, uh, at the time, Snapchat was a sexting tool. It wasn't an influencer platform. And there was a community of us that went to Snapchat and we were, you know, they, we really wanted to work a lot closer with them. And they were just really focused on being a chat app at the time and not, they didn't care about these new, these influencers that were emerging from their platform. Um, so they actually made it a policy not to work with us. And they, they said, we're just really focused on being a chat app between friends. We'll never be anything different. Uh, turns out they did become an influencer platform and they really depended on that. Um, uh, but by that time I had left and I had started uh, working with uh, two two co-founders from previous startups, um, Sharon and Gabe. They're the two co-founders of this company um, right now. And we just built uh, various video apps over the years. Um, we built various video apps over the years and uh, we had a little, we had a few failures, um, but we learned a lot from those failures. Uh, one was called Slinger, one was called BitSmash. And we were basically trying to build a new social network. We're trying to build the next Instagram. And we didn't realize that, you know, we need to focus on building utility before we can even think about building a social network. That's what Instagram did. That's what Snapchat did. Um, um, and we're not even focused on being a social network anymore. We're just saying, let's just build the best video editor of all time. And what would the best video editor of all time need? Maybe I don't think it's filters. I'm not sure that it's... Um, you know, little uh, cool one-off features. I think we need to really hone in what is creating, what is causing the most problems for creators and what takes them the most time. And we realized that looking at YouTube videos, jump cut, jump cutting, where you remove the dead space where there's no talking is the most common, um, is the most common thing that editors do when they're editing. Um, but it just takes so much time. And we're just like, hmm, I wonder if we can solve this problem. So we went out and we did. We think we did solve that problem. Um, and I can just give, show you guys a live demo right now. If you yeah, want. this is like my absolute favorite work? feature. This is what got me hooked on on this new app. Uh, this this one feature alone, out of the many that you have. So just jump right in. Yeah, just show us how that works. Cool. So um, I'm about to record myself. This is going to be one shot, um, and I'm basically going to show you how. After I record myself, I just um, hit the record button again to finish it, and it will automatically edit the footage for me. Um, so let's try that out right here. Hi, my name is Chris. I like to make vlogs. Honey is my friend. Make sure you leave pauses in between your sentences because when you're done, vloggies will automatically go in and edit out the parts where there's no talking. Just hit it again. So it instantly edits the video. You can see the progress right there. Hi, my name is Chris. I like to make vlogs. Honey is my friend. Make sure you leave pauses in between your sentences because when you're done, vloggies will automatically go in and edit out the parts where there's no talking. 
so that's it um nice. you nice. can you can leave as long as you want in between your sentences um uh up to five minutes max total for the video and then you can make as many five minute videos as you want um the most powerful use case of this of this feature is that if you make a mistake and this is what i love more than anything is that if you make a mistake um you can actually pause and re-say it again until you get it right and say it as many times as you want until you get it right because once you go back and you preview the video in the timeline as you can see here once you preview the video you just swipe up on the clip that you didn't want the one that was the bad one and then you just hit delete and then it removes it from the timeline so it actually removes all the pressure of content creation because you don't need a script you can just come you can come in there with an idea of what what you want to talk about and then you can kind of just um you can kind of just free ball it and then every time you make a mistake pause say it again until you get it right and then just go back later and delete all the clips that you didn't want in there and then the final product looks like it was almost like uh everything was planned out it looked like you know you nailed it the first time kind of thing and nobody has any idea that you had to do retakes on some of the bits that 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 alone like a the pausing and b the uh, option to delete like well, the worst part for me is when i make videos i have to stop re-record again to my exactly. take two take three but that just the fact that it slices it for you click a button and say delete is it, me personally my favorite because that eliminates yeah. me uh from wasting a lot a lot of time of stopping editing redoing because maybe the first part i said was great but the second half of my video just sucked right so exactly i love it i love it that's by awesome. far by far the favorite feature it's so, crazy that when we when we first built it, uh, sorry for cutting you off. When we first built it, nice. um, it uh, it didn't work in any. If there was any noise in the background at all, it, it didn't work properly. But the first time that we built it, um, you know, we spent a lot of time trying to, to to nail it right. And the first time that it worked, we just we were off the wall. We couldn't believe that you know we actually have something where it can automatically edit your videos. And I did a test. I just wanted to see how many vlogs can I make in a day. And I made thirty vlogs in a row, uh, back to back. 30 vlogs, I don't know how else you can do that. I made 30 vlogs and then I just stopped because I'm like, I can just keep going uh, throughout the day, right? And if you were to tell any influencer, you're like, you make 30 vlogs in a day, it's like, they, they couldn't believe that because for them, it's like, you have to record all day, you go back, you know, you take the SD card out of your camera, you put it into your laptop, you have to get your microphone and your audio and everything's just completely fragmented. And the beautiful part about mobile is that everything's been defragmented. Everything has basically come together in a cohesive product where you have the recorder, you have the timeline, you have the audio, um, everything's just n nice in one package. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And the cool thing is the, um, the fact that like, you can you just you can just have it in your pocket, fire it up, and then you got a lot of cool features that I'm not gonna give away. You're gonna talk about a little bit later. It's you know like things where like the future development, including syncing to the cloud and all that good stuff. So it's, this is just like the beginning uh, of something really yeah. really powerful. That's awesome. I had oh, sorry my my real question was sorry I just had a all little uh, brain stumble was um, I see a lot of people walking around and doing these videos. Uh, do you see any issues? Is that do you see issues with like if the background is moving while you're pausing? How does that work with uh, the vlog? Yep. Easy does it handle that? So um, we're trying to always improve our, our algorithms that we're of using. Course. To, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and one of the biggest challenges um, is is detecting when you're talking and what's background noise or what's mm -hmm. if somebody else's background noise or they are talking in the vlog. Um, it's it's a challenge for us. We're gonna we're gonna crack it i think i think we're we're not there yet in terms of being able to walk around times square and have a perfectly cut vlog um but um but uh right now you can go into mildly louder areas and our algorithm will basically detect is that background noise or is that you know somebody a human speaking and um it's light years ahead of our first version that we launched and we're just going to keep making it better so i would just say if when you do use it um speak loudly and clearly um uh just so it can it can it can hear your voice and we make sure those cuts are are, are are in um and uh just stay with us along the along the trip and we're just going to keep making it better and better for everybody absolutely i know i know this is just the beginning and the ai just gets smarter and smarter and the algorithms yep. get smarter and smarter so i'm excited for that awesome man so that's to me like just just that alone is just like all right i'm sold you know i got the app I'm, I'm playing with this. This is what I want. Like this, that's a time saving. What, what else can you do? I know you said it's a video editor, right? We're just yep. talking about creation. What else can you do in terms of uh, tools for video creators? 
Yep, so we have the basic, um, you can see here, um, we have basic uh, uh, drawing. You can add text, we're adding a whole bunch of premium fonts. Um, one of the other cool features is if, if one of the parts of the video was taken out that you want in the video, you can actually untrim it and that, that video will still be behind you there. So nothing is ever lost. Um, everything is always going to be uh, on the timeline. Uh, and when you hit the plus button, uh, there's gonna be a history that's gonna show all the videos that you have um, that you've uploaded. So um, anything that you've ever uploaded to your account, all your videos will be accessible from your history account. Um, we have a feature called Movie Clips. It's a partnership with a company called Yarn. And you can basically type in any sentence or phrase. So I'm gonna say, um, I have the best friends. I typed in, I have the best friends, and now it's gonna search all the movies and TV clips that say I have the best friends. Best friend I have left. Or something similar. Alice, she's the best friend I could ever have. Two of the best friends anyone could ever ask for. So it'll show you. I should have taken the hit when your best friend left you. Um, so uh, this one didn't That's say that awesome. exact sentence, but it usually does have phrases that will say your exact sentence that you're looking for. And you can easily just add that to the part of whatever part of the vlog you want. Um, that's it. That's one of the other trends in YouTubing right now is is people are using movie and TV clips as as memes as part part of the content. Um, if you look on the bottom, you can drag any of the clips and rearrange them anywhere you want in the timeline. Um, we have a cloud syncing product, so everything you create is backed up to the cloud, and you can turn that off if you want if you don't want it saved to the cloud. The coolest part about that is that you can. Um, you can access it from any other iOS device. So if you want to get it on an iPad or another iPhone, let's say you lose your phone and all of your project files are on your one phone, it'll now be saved to the cloud so that you can access it from anywhere and you don't lose anything. Um, that's, a, that's another really great feature because we are in the works of building a desktop version um, and Android version. Um, by the way, the license that uh, Honey's selling today will be good for when we when we um, when we launch those platforms. You'll be able to access both those platforms with it. Um, but we're building desktop so that you can record from your phone, and then as you're recording, it's already syncing to the cloud. And then you open up your laptop, and it's already syncing to your laptop, and your project files will be ready to continue edit from there. So. We're basically gonna make your phone and your desktop sync. Um, you edit on one, it changes the settings on the other and vice versa. Um, we think that's gonna be super that. powerful. I love that, I love that. Cause you can be, you can have a team, right? You can be out recording the videos and then your team gets exactly. the videos right away and they're that's editing exactly and they're it. crunching it out. They're putting it through repurpose and it's going out to all the platform. Yeah, so you yeah. Really you think about the possibilities here. Exactly. Your team can literally edit it and then you can see, you can look on your phone and look at the edit, edits they made and be like, actually, I want to tweak this a little bit and, and then they can tweak it a little bit. You can basically co-edit um, at the same time. That's awesome. So that's coming out. That's in the pipeline right now. It's not available but today. So iOS is desktop available Desktop is not available, but the Cloud Sync feature is. So if yeah. you do have an editor somewhere around the world and you don't want to oh. do any editing after, you can get them to have an iOS device. They can just sync the project files and edit it on, you know, from their end. Um, we actually have a lot of ideas of what we want to do with that in the future. Um, uh, we, we really think we've built a better, uh, a better quote unquote mousetrap here. Um, just because if you look at all the other video apps in the market right now, they're trying to replicate what Premiere Pro um, and Final Cut is doing, um, which is re really still complicated processes. And nobody's tried to figure out like, how do we make these things as simple as possible? So a grandma can jump in and it's easy enough for a grandma to use, but a professional can come in and it's also dynamic enough for them to have utility as well. That's awesome. So I'm going to just interrupt you for a second because people are going to probably no be wondering, okay, how do I check this out? How do I learn more? What's the deal? Yep. So I'm going to pop this up. So uh, if you head on to repurpose.io slash vlog and then enter discount code 10 off, uh, you get basically $10 off the already lifetime price. So it's a one-time price. You just pay once, you never have to pay it again. Um, and it's it's a great app, and it's got a thirty day money back guarantee. So if you for whatever reason you don't love it, um, you get your money back. So, but I love it. I'm using it right now. Appreciate that. Um, and it's it's just it's just again, I'm but being automation and efficient. You know, I'm always aware of like the you know the repurposing stuff. I love a geek out on. That's what we do. But the creation stuff is 
it, it is time consuming and this saves this shaves off a ton of time i love and hopefully it. you know with repurpose.io uh, um hopefully if people are creating more than they're using you know repurpose a lot more as well because now they have more way more videos to publish yes yes and this is just like uh what got actually really cool use case here um somebody um tawana mentioned this uh one of our customers last night and she said you know i love vlog i already have it i'm already using it um i love this i wish we can do the captioning thing i know that's something you guys are working on as well some captioning um but we um next week we're going to have an option that lets you burn captions right on top of any video without oh, wow. resizing it so repurpose has the ability to resize videos from vertical some from horizontal to vertical and then add the captions to them uh, via facebook because facebook's captions so we integrate with um but long story short we're going to have the ability just to add captions to any video so uh, one thing Chris didn't mention is that you can um, do any kind of format video, square, vertical, horizontal, right with vlog. And then yeah. with next week's update on repurpose, we can burn the captions right in. So imagine this. This is the kind of the workflow that I can see a lot of customers using. Record, whether you know you're going to IGTV directly or you want to put it on Facebook, record in any format you're comfortable with. Um, directly from here, edit, and then you can upload to your Facebook page. Um, and then you can have repurpose, burn the captions right on there and syndicate that out to your Dropbox and other platforms. So there's a, oh. there's a lot, a lot of flexibility between the, this app and repurpose, uh, especially when it comes to captions and obviously with repurposing to other platforms. That's cool. Um, another common question that, that we have is, uh, can you upload video from DSLR cameras and jump cut that? So can you put 4K video into VlogEasy? Uh, mm -hmm. You can. We've we built that feature in. You can upload for You can record a 10-minute video um, on your DSLR and um, mm -hmm. and put it into VlogEasy, and it will jump cut that footage as well. So even professional video, um, if you have that, it'll work. Oh wow! I didn't know that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Andy's got a question. If you don't mind, yep. I'm gonna throw this up here really quick. So what are the what are the share options that you have built into the app right now? Uh, sh share so you can share it to your camera roll. Um, mm -hmm. You can choose different re resolutions. So 1080, uh, 720 to four K. Um, you have uh, twenty four to sixty frames per second. You can choose. Um, you can choose to slice it up for Instagram stories if you'd like. If you have Instagram stories, oh. you can. There's a feature that will automatically chop it up into fifteen seconds for you. Oh, um, like and then. Uh, Different platforms you can share it. To. You can share it directly to, directly to YouTube. You can share it directly with friends on uh, Messenger, on iMessage. Um, you can save to camera roll, um, and uh, that's about it for now. Um, I think it'd be really cool eventually to have a repurpose feature where we just share it to, to your platform and it distributes it everywhere. That's awesome. Well, it kind of does right now, actually. If you because uh, we have some integration. You upload to where... Facebook. You can upload to Facebook, uh, or you can upload uh -huh. to Dropbox because we we integrate oh, with cool. Dropbox, so we can grab from Dropbox and do that. No uh, way. So, but definitely Facebook is the easiest. You share it on Facebook; it's there. Your audience sees it, and then yep. repurpose can grab it from there and kick in your workflows like it does right now. So we, we kind of already have an integration, um, yep. which is pretty sweet. That's a great question, Andy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Awesome. I mean, I've got. I mean, I've got a few questions that came to mind when I first played with it. I mean, well, my first thoughts were just, I love the slicing, like I mentioned earlier. I love the fact that you can, it deletes gaps for you automatically. Uh, so you can pause, repeat something. Um, but also the fact that you can still manually delete that clip without having to like move that little slider here and there and get the exact jump cut. It's already as a small little clip with one button, I can say delete, which is I love. Um, and you mentioned text. So um, in terms of text, I know it's probably something I'm not sure how much effort you guys put into the text part, but I think text is really important. Um, is there any plans to like, I know you mentioned some fonts and stuff, but um, is this like almost like stickers text like you put on stories or is stuff like, can someone, can someone make an intro with it or like how can I, what can you do with the text? I haven't played around with that text feature too much myself. Yep. Yeah, so um, it's kind of like a traditional video editor. I'll show you right now. Um, so let's say I wanted to add text to this clip right here. Uh, do this, yeah. Text to this clip right here. So I touch the text button, type in hello. And if you can see on the bottom, it paints exactly where um, you want the text to appear. So you can drag that across. It'll auto lock on the edges. 
Um, and then you can change the colors. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with the text. Uh, change the colors, uh, duplicate it, and then we have a whole bunch of different fonts. So um, th the list isn't massive yet, but uh, we're gonna be adding a lot more fonts soon. But we're trying to only include premium looking fonts. Um, and if you guys have any font suggestions at all, you can just let me let us know um, in our Facebook fan group. Um, and then uh, we're gonna try to include as many as many fonts as we can. And eventually maybe you'll have like your, uh, we'll have like premium and, and basic fonts and then to, by paying you, you know, unlock all the premium fonts. Nice, nice. And Andy's got another great question. What, we talked about fonts, but what about music? Is there any music options? Can you pull in uh, you know, music from a library, external library or your own music that you can pull in? Obviously not copyrighted music, but yep. uh, are there options for that? Or is that something you're looking at down the road? Yep. So music is one of our most requested features. Um, we've got, uh, we've, we're, we're, we're partnering with uh, audio blocks. So you're going to be able to search all of audio blocks entire audio database and add that to your vlog instantly. Um, right from the phone. Um, we're working on that right now. Um, and then a little sneak peek of, of music in the feature, uh, actually, sorry, you can also add from your, you're going to be able to add from your uh, iTunes from your phone and then the future we want to build some features that will um i'm not supposed to be saying but i'm going to say anyway for you guys um uh basically a feature that will automatically edit b-roll to music for you so you don't have to do you just record a bunch of b-roll you just add the song and then you know in transition periods in your vlog oh, that you're wow. making it'll uh, it'll automatically make a little thing for you oh that's cool that's cool just to kind of fill in like just just make keep your video more interesting without having to yeah. spend time making these uh using the like taking advantage of B roll that people love like people love seeing that stuff like kind of like yeah not the mistakes but just the footage that's not really the main content but it just yeah. adds more character to your video yeah that's cool I like yeah that. Uh, my team and I were um you know we've been co-founders for for almost half a decade now and or pretty much half a decade um and we really. We really care about the products that we're, we're building and and with our previous products we've learned so much about what people love and what they don't love and when you look at our video editor you you look at it and you're like oh this is really simple like why hasn't anybody done it like this before and really it was a lot of of mistakes that we made and doing things that were wrong um and for somehow us three putting our heads together we really know how to we really know how to figure out really hard problems for example there's no video editor that I'm aware of on the market unless somebody else knows about it um, that has the that has both the uh, the record button and the timeline present at all times. Um, if you look at all the video editors on the market, the record button's hidden somewhere or the timeline's hidden somewhere. Um, just having both of these accessible is so important to have an easy to use video editor and nobody has done it except for three companies, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube stories. Um, but they're not video editors. They're just story posters, right? You can't actually go in and have a, a full on editing experience. So, um, just the, having the record button and the timeline on present at all times is an innovation in itself. And you have to design the rest of the app around those two things. Right. And other people are starting their, uh, when other people are building video apps, they're creating the feature first and then trying to build the editor around that feature. And then it becomes clunky and, and, um, uh, and it doesn't, it's not cohesive. And just the way we've built that is, is an innovation of itself. And now we think we can dream up anything we want, um, and build it on top of the, the platform we have. Um, and that's the plan. Yeah. Andy's saying great feature. I totally agree. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I know what cool. you mean. Like, I know that like when you create something like from the inside out, like you create the inside properly, then you have this almost like endless possibility of stuff that you can add to it. And that's how yeah. I feel about our platform. And that's how I get that impression from you as well. I love that. I love that. Like, it's not just like build a one-off thing, make some money and run. Like it's, it's not what we're here for. We're here to help content creators ourselves yeah. every purpose and yeah. you guys as well. And I, I get that vibe totally. Um, cool. One, uh, I don't know, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to ask for a feature request. Maybe that's something we can throw down your pipeline sometime. Um, I don't see a lot of apps have this, maybe one or two that I know of or heard about. Um, the ability, I don't know if it's a, it's a limitation of the whole OS or not, but limit ability to record using the mic on a wireless headphones. So yeah. I mean, if I'm out about and I want to talk through, use the mic on my wireless, 
Um, I don't believe a lot of apps do that. I'm not, I haven't tested it uh, with Vlog Easy, but what are your what are your thoughts? So it should or, work. It should work. Right no now. way. You're mm -hmm. kidding. No way. No. So I can use yeah. that mic. No. I, I, there's no apps out. I mean, there's like I think two that I googled around that I found that can do that. Really? I, think I'm like, I didn't know that was an, was an issue at all. Yeah, it's like most people don't use the microphone. So I'm curious to play that. Or I'll play around and, and let you know what I find. Because yeah. that's, that. I mean, you can hear the audio, but can you use the microphone as your primary recording source? So that's yeah. something I want to check out. That's awesome. That's so yeah. cool. Awesome, man. Well, like, honestly, like, it's not, to me, it's not a video editor. Like, a video editor is an app where you record a video and then you kind of slice and dice and cut and slap text. You can do all that stuff, but... The value here to me is is that first step where you showed where you can basically detect the pauses and then detect the uh, you know, change in scenes so that you can get the make the video editors or editing process a lot faster or even automated exactly. if you if you do it right. Yeah, that's awesome. exactly. And I'm it's, I'm looking forward to the cloud stuff too. The, uh, sorry, yeah, the I mean editing via desktop. I mean, but. Yeah, via desktop. I mean, it's it's available right now. If if you have a video editor that has an iPhone as well, and they're in a you know uh, somewhere around the world, you can you mm -hmm. can hire them to edit your videos for you. you just record, send it off to them. Oh, you don't have to send it to them; it just automatically syncs with them, and that's, and that's you're good fun. to go. Um, once once we start building these things, it's kind of like obvious that they should exist, right? And mm -hmm. it's it's always like you, you need, now that we've thought of it, we're like, how has nobody built this yet? Um, and you know. Now that we've built it, we're expecting people to try and copy it. It's going to be a challenge to get to the jump cut, but we're already thinking about the next 10 features um, that are going to change everything. So if they're going to copy the first feature, they're going to have to copy the next 10 if they want to continue to compete with us. Um, and instead of that, we'd actually, in the long run, we actually want to work with developers to build on top of our platform um, because I don't think there's going to be many, um, if, if more than one, uh, of what we're building. And we actually... You know, we would love to work with developers to build on top of the tech we've already built so that, you know, we've already figured out the, the, the video editor part. Let's try to dream up new features that weren't possible before that, you know? Yeah, totally, man. No, I, I feel your, I, I, we have similar approach to how we build stuff, right? We build stuff because we want yeah. to help people, right? We want to help yeah. people save time and help people ultimately get more content and get more exposure. That's really yeah, exactly. what you and I are all about. And that's why, you know, I want to bring you here to talk about this app and, it's a perfect tool for creating a lot of content, video-based content, very quickly. Um, yep. And I love it. So it's, um, exactly. it's called Vlog Easy. Uh, you can try it. I have it. I have it on my phone. Um, if you go to repurpose.io slash Vlog and then you put a discount code 10 off, uh, you can get no, 10 bucks off. And it's a one-time price. Like, What's the price uh, with the discount, Chris? Uh, $10, uh, 137 137 so it's a one-time yeah. investment 137 you have basically you'll get all the cloud sync you'll get um right now it's ios only you get the desktop version and the android version when it's released uh yeah. you basically you're like i don't say it's not a founding team like it's been around for some time now right yeah yeah and but you but you can still you, you feel like you're part of this contribution state where you can contribute to what features you want to see in the app which is yeah it's always exciting and that's yeah, that's that's what we want. Is we want to actually build this with our customers. We don't want to treat them like they're over there and we're you know mm -hmm. up here. Um, we're, we we we've been building this with um, content creators since the beginning. So uh, I'm all ears in terms of features that you want us to build. Um, you can even create an idea and vote on that. I uh, get people to vote on it right on our Facebook page itself. You just have to submit it at the top. Um, there's some people that might be hung up on the price of of 147. Um, I totally get that. Totally understandable. Um, the thing is, you know, if you're, if you are doing a lot of video and you're jump cutting, uh, frequently, if you were to do that yourself, it's going to take hours per video, or you're going to have to pay someone who's going to spend hours to do it. Um, and you know, it's not going to be cheap, um, over the long run, uh, to have to do it yourself or hire somebody else. So 147 is, is, you know, paying for an editor for a day, um, days worth of work, but you get that you get the editing feature for the rest of your life, basically. It's a um, lifetime. Lifetime. It's a lifetime. Yeah. And our, our prices are actually going up on the lifetime deal. Um, and then our we're revamping our prices this week. Um, 
Uh, we're going to be testing out various things, but we think it's going to be around 199 a year for the pro feature. So 147 for lifetime access when it's going up to 199 per year. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a no brainer. Um, we're not we're not the same as other apps, as in they're not designed to buy you time. Um, they're designed to give you a learning curve to have to learn the product and then make you more productive than you would have been otherwise. Our product is designed to buy you time back in your life. So you don't have to think about having to learn how to edit. You just hit record, talk to the camera, publish it. You don't even think about it. Yes. Yes. And it really is like, I mean, that, like I encourage you to go, if you're curious, if you like what you saw, um, a lot of people, no, I'll say, I, I see quite a bit of people here commenting that they already have it, which is, I love it. I love that they already have it from before. Right. And, um, again, like I said, perfect match for repurpose, uh, like awesome on content creation, uh, great repurposing and they, they works, they work together, literally integrated yeah. right now off the bat by just sending it yeah. to your Facebook and boom, nothing. You don't change the way you repurpose your content. You just make your content video creation a lot faster. Yeah, that's cool. And when I heard about your product, I, I was just like, our, our products are so in line with each other because we're the, we're the, we're the creation part and then you're the distribution part and for me i was dreading having to upload all these different platforms um we're actually going to be launching vlog school very soon um and uh i want to use repurpose io for that because i don't want to be posting all the different platforms at all <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah i love it yeah you're set up you, you're, you got your account already so awesome totally david david saying love it just get it you won't be sorry and i'm 100 percent 100 percent agree you won't be sorry like there's no you know you can spend 199 a dollar 99 or whatever on a uh, video editor app on your phone that you're going to use for a day then you're like man this is too clunky i don't want to use it that money's gone you know invest yeah. in a platform this is not a, this is not a video editing app it's a video editing platform which has some built-in automation but also what you're going to get is like just the, the cloud sync, the ability to edit from anywhere. I mean, like your team can edit it remotely. You could be out in the field recording videos all the time, and then your team is just editing. There's so much. It's a platform. I don't. I don't even like to call it an app because apps. I think of things it's that you so kind of install one. It's a platform. It's a video editing platform. Huh. Simple to use, and it has built-in automation, which really got me really got me excited. That's how we connected. Awesome. Very cool. Any. Uh, I'm going to ask for any questions. If anybody's got any questions or comments, I appreciate all the comments coming in so far. But um, as they're coming in, is there anything else you think we miss, Chris, that we didn't touch on in terms of um, features, what's coming down the pipeline? You mentioned Android and desktop. Yeah, Android um, and desktop. We're going to be launching public roadmaps so people can follow along as we're building those platforms. Um, and uh, uh, again, like I mentioned, go to our, our, our Facebook fan group. And oh, there we go. What's the question? Yeah, there was a question um, about the Facebook fan yeah, group. Go to our uh, type in Vlog Easy fan group, and I'll just I'll add you after uh, after the stream. Um, but that's the place where we're really going to be getting people to ask tough questions, and and uh, we're going to be posting. Uh, we're going to be giving out early releases for uh, for all people who are doing the lifetime deal. Um, they're going to be able to beta test with us if they'd like, um, test out new features before everybody else, all that kind of stuff. So we really want to be really close with the community uh, as we grow this thing. Um, that's but, awesome. Yeah, yeah um, Kelly's got a question. I don't know. If I'm, I'm, I have a feeling it's for me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe you can elaborate a little bit more, Kelly, about the issue. Um, so you, I guess you have an issue converting iPhone video format to mp4 i want to think it's something we discussed via repur in a repurpose group but honestly i'm getting old and i can't remember the details <laughs> the details of it um but i guess I the idea just, is sure. no i was going to say that you would just use this as a, as a recording tool yeah. uh, re do the full recording right on using this vlog easy app and recording plus editing um, but you can import right is that true can you import yeah, existing you can import video? So you can bring it in, and will it do the slicing? Yep. The AI? No way. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This you is can, cool. You just import. You get your DSLR camera. Uh, there's no limit on that as well. You can record for as long as you want on that one. Um, so record a 15 minute vlog on your DSLR. Take footage, put it on your camera roll, jump cut it right from the app. Um, oh yeah. We've had people who make courses. Um, there's a lot of people who are doing this that make courses, and you're sh they're shaving days off of 
of all the work that it's taking them to build courses. People who took like th four days to make a course are doing it in one right now, which is insane. I love, I had no idea. I love this. Yeah. I'm glad that I'm glad <laughs> this question came out. I didn't know. I thought it would do the jump cutting only for video you record on the app, but I can take any no, video I have. Any video. And my camera roll, import it into the project and you know slice it up into little stories or slice it up into uh, getting out, you know, get rid of the dead space or just breaking it up so I can edit it a whole lot faster. Yeah. Oh man, and I'm excited for the desktop version. That's gonna be yeah. super cool. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, is desktop gonna be web based? No, it it's gonna, gonna be, be like a Mac native. PC. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be native PC. just because we need lots of processing power. Yeah. Maybe yeah. eventually we'll build a web based version. Um, but I think people want that feeling of of having all your stuff on the hardware right now. Yeah, no, that's true. You need the, you know, you computers are getting faster and faster. So you can do especially when it comes yeah. to video and video editing and rendering, you gotta do it um on yeah. the machine. Um, so Kelly's wondering if I can I can upload it to the cloud format with vlog easy. Um, I'm not sure I understand the question 100%, but um, I guess the way to get the footage, uh, any video you already have, you can have it on your phone and, and then import it, phone or iPad, and then put on your camera roll and then import it into the project on vlog easy. But is there a way yeah. to get it from a Dropbox or somewhere else right now? Like. Um, I, you can, you can mean, only import it from your camera roll at the moment. Okay. Um, but so we'll right be adding now, iCloud and all that stuff in the future. Okay. So you can eventually, when we have you know, the desktop version, you can, you know, possibly have grab it from other sources. But right now, yeah. uh, on iOS device, iPad or iPhone, um, save it to your camera roll and then import it into your project. Yep. Got it. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, this is good. I learned uh, learned a couple of things. I'm gonna go around and play some more now with. Uh, vlog easy no it's really cool honestly it is like i mean i i geek out about stuff all the time but like anything to me when it comes to time saving it's like creating content is not it's not the fastest thing but this is yeah. just shaves off a ton of time and that's what really attracted me um just one more last thing kelly's bring up uh, relates to the question about format issue of native iphone needing to be converted to mp4 um to be honest maybe we, we can uh yeah i don't remember the issue uh, you were having before but uh, we can shoot me a message kelly i'd be happy like it's on facebook messenger or post it in the group again just remind me and we can kind of talk about how to get this like, I'm, if the video is not on not on your phone how to get it onto your phone and if the video is already on your phone um to be honest upload just sending it to your dropbox or to a facebook should just Get that in. If, if you're thinking about getting into repurpose, that's one way to getting it is onto Facebook or to Dropbox. And you should not have any issues with formatting. Um, but if you want to get into Vlog Easy, then you can just import that video from your phone directly into the app. All right. Awesome. Well, cool. Everyone, thank you so much for the great questions. Yeah. And if you're watching the replay, just drop them in. Now you can tag me. Uh, you can tag Chris or just leave the comment and uh, we're going to monitor this for the next couple of days and we'll yep. get back to you with our answers. Uh, so the, the link again is repurpose.io slash vlog. Um, then you can act, get an extra 10 bucks off that price there, uh, which is 147. So you can bring it down to 137 and use a discount code 10 off. Really cool. And you got 30 days to play around with it. Uh, make sure yep. it's the right fit. Um, you know, honestly, it's it's you know that's going to become your go-to tool. <laughs> like we have more, we have we have less than one percent of people that are returning right now, which we can't believe. But nice. uh, it's less than one percent right now. So yeah, and it's a you it's probably a won't be deal. sorry. No, you won't be sorry. It's a lifetime. Like you pay it once, and you're not. It's not something. Not a subscription based, and which sounds like it will be because you're getting all the cloud storage, like a terabyte of cloud storage. Like you're getting a ton yep. of cloud storage. So this yep. is not something that. You know, it costs it costs the developers money to maintain all the stories. So, but yeah, eventually the subscription I can see it going to monthly subscription. Yeah. But again, you're not just getting the app; you're getting the whole suite uh, yeah. tool. So, um, yeah, check it out. Play around with it. Next thirty days. Got any questions about it? You can tag me. Leave them in the comments below. Um, if I can't answer it, I'll you know I'll get them off to Chris, and he'll be happy. Yeah, I'll be able to answer and, everything. Uh, yeah, of course. And uh, yeah, well, thanks everyone for all the great question. Chris, you're awesome, man. I appreciate you you're being awesome here, well. giving it the, the demo and uh, look forward to see more uh, vlog easy videos online. Awesome. All right. All right, honey. Hey, thank you. You're very welcome. See you guys. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. -bye.